In today's video, I am going to be showing you different three-on-three -three plays that you can use to be able to teach your offense in basketball. Now, these are also three-on-three -three plays that you could potentially run in three-on-three -three games too, so keep that in mind. Let's get down. Let's check this out really quickly. If you want a fantastic offense, make sure to go check out my five-out complete guide that is down in the description below, but also make sure to go check out my Horns High School Basketball Playbook that is down there as well. Okay, so let's say we want to run a blind pig play. What we can do is we can teach our team this three-on-three -three play, and then later on, we can go into actual five-on-five -five gameplay. And what I would do is just have our players start at half or maybe full court, have them sprint down court, and I would then, if I was teaching a blind pig play, I would have, for example, player two cut to the rim first. I would then have player one send a pass over to player three, and then I would have player two back screen player one. Obviously, player one is going to have a defender right here. Let's say player one has red as a defender. This back screen happens. Player one then cuts to the basket. This would be an easy basket, potentially, for player one, depending on if there was a switch. And if there wasn't a switch, or if there was, or let's say miscommunication, Player two will then pop up to the three, and this could be a reverse pass around after player one fills out to the opposite side. You could potentially run this play over and over again by having player three pass to player two, player three cuts, learning how to move off ball. Player two then passes over to player one. This turns into a back screen yet again, and then player two cuts, and we will look for player two on that cut. In the second play, in the second option that I guess I could show you is a zoom style play where we have a pin down screen by player three and then player one is going to then dribble out towards the mid-range slash three-point line area but at the wing. They're gonna have that staggered screen. Player two is going to run up and use that staggered screen using player one as the dribble handoff and at this time we're gonna have player three roll to the basket. Player two is going to continue out. He's either gonna look to score or pass to player three. After this dribble handoff we will have player one fill out this way we can actually have a reverse pass and we may be able to then after this reverse pass continue through and then run a blind pig play actually it would be a blind pig and player two would be cutting this way and this could be then an easy basket now we've taught our players okay you've ran one play now you've run a second play back to back See, the problem with a lot of younger players is they become machines, they become robots, and they go, if this, then that, they go through the exact motions every single time in a play, and they don't have any room for creativity. Now with this, they're learning, hey, after I've done this play, now I can go on to the next play, next play, and everything kind of works smoothly all together. And if you can organize your offense where now, hey, if this pass gets sent up here, this is our next action. If this pass gets sent here, this is our next action. But depending on how our defense plays us, or if I see an opening, I can take that cut and just allow your team and your players to run smoothly and, of course, freely without having to stay in the confines of the offense if they choose that maybe there is an opening somewhere to be able to exploit. Now coming down into the offense once again, just sprinting down court, we can have player one start in this wing. Player three will cut early on in this offense. If he's open, obviously hit him up for that layup. If he's not open, what's going to happen is player one is going to dribble out towards the point. And player two is going to then receive that handoff from player one. Player three is still in the low post. After this handoff is set we are going to then have player one not roll but pop out to the three-point line at this time i want player three to pop out and set a screen for player two after player two uses that screen now this is going to be a quick screen and roll now another option that you could have is after this dribble handoff player three comes up and sets the screen on player one because player one's man is going to be potentially hedging on this, player two can fight through, and now player one cuts, and player three is setting that screen, so that now player one may be open. 
Definitely go check out my complete guide to the five out offense. And if you're looking for some great set plays, make sure to go check out my high school horns basketball playbook. I hope that these plays help your team win more games. If they do, hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again in my next video.